Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? This is your boy Isaac. And this is your boy Bryce. And we are Brothers on Tennis. So for this IG Live, we know we definitely want to touch on some of the Olympic stuff, but we also want to make sure we're... So we'll leave the Olympic stuff for last. Okay. Let's start this off by talking about the tournaments going on this week. Uh, And before we even talk about the tournaments going on this week, we want to shout out something huge that's going on that we're a part of. Um, We have been honored to work with uh, the the incredible brand of Citibank uh, Taste of Tennis, um, yes. and and I'm sure you're aware of the the wonderful events that they've put on over the years, uh, and they're doing something very special this year. And if you've been following us on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, you have seen that they are having this year for the very first time. And of course, you know a lot of this has to deal with what we've been dealing with with Corona and all that kind of stuff they have a food truck tour yes. and on this food truck they have food that's being prepared and what's even better what's even better is that the food is complimentary so if you go out there and you go to the food truck not only do you get to experience the food truck itself and all of that but you eat for free. How do you beat that, Isaac? I don't see how you can beat that, bro. That's free. I mean, come on. Everybody loves free. And especially you getting gourmet free. Right. Come on now. <laughs> right. Come right. on now. And, look and at guess, this look, y'all. And guess what? Right. Thank you. And, and on top of that, if you go out to the truck, you never know who might be out at the truck. Because guess who was out at the truck today? Jack Sock. And Nick Curios. So if you got out there, you may oh. have got an opportunity to meet them and chat it up with them for a little bit. So one of the things that Brothers on Tennis is doing for this event is we are promoting the stops on social media. Uh, we're keeping it going. We're letting you know where they're going to be at next, what chef food is going to be uh, on dis- uh, going to be uh, served the, the next day. We're also going to be uh, giving you some videos and some footage to let you know how well each stop has gone uh, that might encourage you to go to a future stop and on social media we're doing all of this to the background of the soundtrack the playlist that we created that is on apple music and that is on spotify that really supports this whole food truck concept as well as the members of the culinary team and their cuisines so, Isaac, how can you beat that? I don't think that you can, Bryce. I mean, that to me is just so, so phenomenal. You get free food. You get the opportunity to meet some of the incredible chefs behind yeah. this event. Again, mm-hmm. this, this uh, City Taste of Tennis is just always popping. They've done it for years upon years. What are they? Plus 20 years that they've been doing right. these, Bryce. Mm-hmm. So, folks, you are in for a lot of good time and good food if you go mm-hmm. to those events. So we're going to be putting that information out there. So track it. And if you're mm-hmm. anywhere nearby, you owe it to yourself to get on over there and check it out. Right. And I know tomorrow they're in, they're in D.C. still for the next two days. So they're in Union Market, I believe, tomorrow. Um, let me make sure I'm saying that right. Because I'll send somebody to Union Market and they get there and be mad. Uh, <laughs> be salty. Be like, yeah. Bryce told me this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yes. Yeah. In D.C., they're in Union Market tomorrow from 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. And on Wednesday, they're actually at the City Open in D.C. at the tennis tournament. They'll be there from 2 to 6 o'clock. So if you go into the tournament, make sure you catch them out there. But then the next three weeks for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of each of those next weeks, they're going to be hitting spots in Manhattan, New York. And so like Isaac said, go out to our website come to our social media site, go to City Taste of Tennis, go to AYS Sports Marketing. Uh, you can find this information, uh, get out there. And, uh, today looks like it was an absolute blast and it's kicked off to a wonderful start. Yeah, man, that's so incredible. Yeah, you got to love the fact that you had Sock and Curios out there supporting. Come on, right. man. Right, yeah. Come on, man. Now, that's you know I'm awesome. salty I wasn't, you know I'm salty <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know, right? You know, I'm salty. I wasn't there. I'm, we'll I'm, be there next year. Yeah, we'll, we'll be I there mean, next year. Well, we'll we'll be we'll be with them, you know, later this month when we're in New York. That's right. But That's right. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, we get some good people there. I'll yeah. I'll, pa I'll pass on Sock and Curious to get Venus and Serena. All right, there you go. And it's a chance there, folks. It's yeah. a good chance because they have been to previous events for the what the last last what, ten years. Last ten years, Venus right. and Serena have both been involved. So yeah. don't sleep on it, folks. Yeah. <laughs> so since we are talking about, you know, DC and the City Open, let's talk about the actual tournament that's happening. Yes, today. yes. Let's let's see what's up. So we've got the City Open and it is a five hundred level event on the ATP tour. Um and let's listen to these seeds. It's a pretty good tournament actually. Uh top seed is Rafa. Then you have FAA. Dimignor, Dimitrov, Center, Daniel Evans, Cam Norrie, and Riley Opelka. So, mm -hmm. and then there are a bunch of other really good players in there that aren't in the top eight seeds, like Corda, and uh, of course we got our love for Tiafo and yes. Millman's been playing well this year, mm -hmm. and uh, Bublik. You never know what to expect from him. So, <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's, it's a nice lineup for DC this year. I would say so. The fact that they were able to pull Rafa to come and right. play. That is incredible because typically you don't hear much about him, you know, before the open. He typically, you know, will will stay in, in you know, stay right. in Mallorca, if you will, until right. he comes mm -hmm. over. So, so that's that's a really awesome sign, Bryce, that he's playing right. this warm up tournament. And I, hey, it, it should be very interesting to see, you know, yeah. see see what transpires. How are you looking at this draw? What what, what looks good to you? Well, the first thing before we even talk about the draw is, you know. What kind of statement does it make for Nadal and his focus on the U.S. Open that he's playing in? That's correct. And it, it, you know, it makes me wonder, you know, remember, this is like the first major where we have all members of the big three sitting on 20. Right. So right. if anyone, hey, Miles, if anyone of the three wins, they take the lead. They take the in, lead. In, in the race, you know. So, um, so yeah, so when I'm looking at this tournament, you know, one of the crazy things that I think, and I love this actually for the U.S. Open, mm -hmm. is you have somebody like a Nick Kyrgios, right? Yeah, yeah. Who is unseated. I know. Can't and, show up anywhere. Anywhere. And, and you know, and him being, un and, and he's going to be unseated for the U.S. Open. Right. I am praying for Djokovic, Kyrgios first round. <laughs> I'm going to do my whole little dance here in my house <laughs> to try to make that happen. But, um, <sighs> you know, he's a surprise. And he's got McKenzie McDonald in the first yeah. round. And I, I expect him to get past that. Mm, I, you remember. Now, Mackie is Mackie feisty. And uh -huh. depending on which Nick you get on the day. Right. Yeah, that one actually, I think, will end up being a bit more. Yeah, I think there's a little more, in, no more spice to that one than than we might think. I think Mackie's gonna get out there trying to win that, and Nick Nick better be, better be on his game because if he's not, he'll he gonna be chilling on the sidelines. I, I, I agree with you. I think Mackie's gonna go out there and try to win, <laughs> uh, but um, I think Nick is gonna take care of him. I think okay. I think Nick knows the the marquee matchup that people would want to see him play pair. Oh, yeah. yeah. To create, I mean, he knows he's waiting in the next round. Both so. crazy. The, crazy. Like crazy. a cat. A you know, Just, right. That's insane. You know, yeah, a pair might come out in the court with booty shorts on. You just never know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. So let's do this. So Isaac, what are you thinking? Like, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's jump to the semifinal. Who, yeah, who are you seeing in the semifinals? Oh, man. So I, I definitely see Rafa making it out of that top half. I don't know mm. that I see anybody up there. And I kind of, well, you know, I tell you what, though. It'd be nice to see a, a Jack Sock and a doll second round. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, oh. You know. Anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> 
just let him let him know where he at. Right. Um, <laughs> where, how much more you got to go? I'm just Ooh, saying. Ooh, yes. Right? Yes. So, okay. So, All right. So I'm thinking the dog will get up in there. Uh -huh. You know, uh, you know, in that little bottom section there, you know, there's a lot of ifs because we don't mm -hmm. know how Dimitrov is now that he's mm -hmm. back with his back problems. Mm -hmm. You know, again, you've got Nick. Uh, Benoit, I'm definitely not seeing him for the for the series because mm -hmm. he's crazy. No, no. He crazy. Um, you never know with Taylor Fritz. I mean, you never know. I know right. he's not, you know, but but still, he's 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 been out there playing right now, so he should mm -hmm. be relatively comfortable. Um, okay, so if I'm going to say anybody... Ugh. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna go with Fritz. Let me tell you who I, I you know, like I said, I, I may not put my 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 rent check on it, mm. but I watch out for that Brandon Nakashima right now. Brandon is beginning to feel himself again. Yeah, and you know what? Like you were saying, that section ain't necessarily the toughest section in the world. Right. And right. If he can continue, I mean, he's got a tough first round against Popperin, but I yeah. can he can get through that. Mm -hmm. Daniel Evans is doable. Yep. I mean, any American, you know, so whether it's Taylor Fritz or not, is <laughs> right. doable. It's, it's doable. You know, I yeah, I mean, I, I think he's got as good a shot as anybody else. I ain't mad at that, bro. I agree with you. I feel like he is finally beginning to get, you know, some level of hold on yeah. his game and the results. So he's mm -hmm. not just world team tennis. He's growing yeah, he's from like, that oh, now. We got play past five. We got oh, play past five. Oh, gotcha. Okay, All I, right. I didn't realize that. I've yeah. been stopping at five. You know? <laughs> right. Okay. So I agree with you. I actually think he's playing some good tennis right now. And uh, that, I, that would not be a bad pick. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we're both going with a, an American against Rafa, which is odd. Which is Rafa in the finals. Well, so, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so what are you thinking in the bottom half? Um, so in the bottom half here, you know, yeah, because I'm mm. looking at center, I'm looking at quarter. Uh -huh. That could be a really interesting matchup. Um, mm -hmm. And then quietly, I, I think Kachmanovic is actually beginning to get his game right as well. Uh -huh. Um, yep. so him against D Menar, because I don't think Stevie gonna be able to do nothing in there. Um boo, out of those four, you know, out of those wait a minute, four. Wait a minute, be before you give that, can we hold yeah, for yeah, just yeah. a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I saw Miles uh put this comment out. He was asking, and I I meant to make this comment, so thank you, Miles, for bringing it up. Uh -huh. He asked if Cam Nori was in this tournament. Yes. And Nori is in um the top section. The reason why I didn't call him, and the only reason why I didn't call him, is because of Nadal. Otherwise, I would have been calling Nori yeah, coming through yeah, there. Yeah. I expect for Nadal to win that, but if Nori pulled the upset, I don't know if I'd be real surprised. Listen, Nadal is going to show Nori how to play <laughs> left-handed tennis. Let us be very clear. Nadal is not trying to play with no Cam Nori. People are like, bitch, these are angles. These are how you do these lefty angles. I don't and care that, if we are on hardcore play. It don't matter. <laughs> you are not going to show me up as a lefty? Please. <laughs> Ooh, he going to snatch him, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna straight snatch him. Uh, uh, you know what? So mm. I just wanted to acknowledge the how well Nori has been doing this year, and that I expect for him to make it up to Roger. I yes. mean, to uh, Rafa. To Rafa. Sorry for yep. the slip. Uh, up to Rafa, <laughs> but that's the only reason why I don't see him going further. Yeah, I would agree with you on that. So one, I'm bro. sorry. Back to your bottom. Oh uh, no, it's it, it's all good, brother. So bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna pick center. I'm gonna say center will make the semis, and I'm gonna say he is going to face Felix. Although I am very interested to see a Felix Tiafo uh, third round match. I think I, that will be tremendous. We need to see it, and so uh, I, you know, as long as they both can make it. Mm hmm Exactly. Um, yes. And and supposedly they're really good friends. Right, right. So, Which hopefully that means they're going to even battle harder. Because to me, it's right. like, you know, put it to the side, get your strap on, and then once mm -hmm. the last point is played, then you back to being cool. Right, you know? right. 
Right, yeah. right. So, so you're saying Center and FAA? I'm gonna say Center FAA. Who are you? Who are you calling? <laughs> you right, Clinton. Black on black crime in the third round. I, agree. I know, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> geez. Um, I'm gonna go with Center <laughs> as well. <laughs> Uh, they talking about the tea apple snuggle. Uh, <laughs> tea apple is going to come and try to strangle us. He's going US to Open. cut us. He really is. He's yeah. going to come with some blaze, and he's going to be like, "I cannot believe y'all put that tea apple snuggle out there." Yeah, and you yeah. know what I'm going to do? I'm going to point right at you and be like, "That was him. He came up with the snuggle." And you know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, "Come here, bring, <laughs> come it, here. In. bring, bring it, it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in." <laughs> so anyway, I, I I know how to defuse that. There um, you go. There you go. But um, I mean, I oh, want. Man. It's like I wanted to be FAA, but I'm just so yeah. shell shocked with him. Like he just will lose to anybody. Um, right. Right. Which is what happened at the Olympics. But I think because of that, he's got something to prove. I I, I yeah I I so I. Yeah, I wanted to be center and FAA, um, but we'll, we'll see. see. We'll yeah, see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> now, I want to bring up something interesting in the doubles, right? Because remember yes. last week they made the whole big deal about Jack Sock and, and Kyrgios were playing doubles together, and they were all back and juicy? Yeah. <laughs> well. Back and juicy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here's the crazy thing. So this week, they both playing doubles, but they not playing with but each other. They're playing with each other, yeah. Now, I don't know if it's because, you know, I, I see that they both are wild cards, so I don't mm -hmm. know if it was just like they were last-minute decisions, but Kyrgios is playing with Tiafo, Right. Which is cool. Which is uh, cool. So I can support that team. And, but yes. Jack Stott is playing with Sam Query, so, you know, I'm kind of conflicted with that one. Mm. Uh Sam, the only reason why I'm voting on your team is because you got Jack. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't know that it'll happen because I don't know if either one of the two teams can keep focus that long. But, of exactly. course, I would love to see them meet in the finals. That would be an amazing final. But they're not yeah, going to make it. I, I, and you know, you know why they're not going to make it? I know. Uh, you see that boobly go you uh, Bev? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, didn't didn't they? How didn't they make? Uh, they were in the finals of um, wasn't it Wimbledon? Wimbledon, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah so mm, I don't know. I don't and know. Palasek, that's the one who was who won the Australian with Dodich. Oh, okay. It was okay. Palasek. Okay, gotcha. That's the gotcha. one. I I couldn't remember his name. I couldn't remember his name. Which is uh, odd. I wonder why they're not playing together anymore. Because they were a good team. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. So anyway, I just thought it was interesting that Kyrgios, um, and 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 uh, Sock were not playing together again this week because they did lose in the second round last week. It, so. it was it's probably Jack. Probably Jack was like, "Listen, you ain't gonna be ruining my doubles because." <laughs> You know, I'm known for the doubles. Right, so right. You ain't right. gonna be you ain't gonna be just yeah. You got here yeah. clowning and he's you got here clowning, yeah. You know, exactly. Trying like, hmm, I'm trying to win. Seriously. Right. <laughs> so so that's what's going on on the men's side. Now right, let's right. bounce to the women. There's actually two women's uh doubles tournaments going on. I'm trying to pull this up on my show. Oh, are they? Yeah, I haven't. I I didn't. Well, up well, actually. one of them ain't, ain't worth talking about. It's it's oh, a two. Okay. It's a two fifty. Is it two fifty? Yeah, and I can't even remember. The top seed was somebody like I don't know Ivan Gulagan mm -hmm. or something like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you silly. I'm trying to. Let's well, see. okay. So I have the two. I have the. I have the two. Which one is this? Uh, is it a two fifty? Because I uh, see they plan on clay. Uh, you know what? I could not even. The one where at least Mertens is the top seed. Mm -hmm. the, oh wait uh, a minute! They got a five hundred going on. That's yeah, the that's one the five hundred. Mubadala. Okay. Yeah, the one in San Jose. Yeah. Ooh. All right. They didn't already finished the match. Ali Risk took out Coco uh, Bandaway. Yeah, I, I saw that. I was real happy about Yay. that. Yeah. Keep trying. 
<laughs> but no, this is a nice tournament for American women because I mean, yeah. well, you got Robert, you got Rabakina in there who's like, I, I'm, you know, I'm here for the, I'm the American killer. <laughs> um, Basically, you got you got old crackhead uh, mm. Yastrzemka in here, <laughs> and then you got <laughs> oh, this is her first tournament back then from mm-hmm. her suspension. No, she had another one where she got drove. Oh, okay. um, all right. And then uh, Claire Lou. So you got these Americans: Claire Lou, Song Stevens against Katie McNally, oh, wow. uh, Shelby Rogers against Danielle Collins. Oh, Massa um, Keys up in there. Yeah, she's okay. going to get out of the first round because she's got to buy. Uh, <laughs> then you've got. Um, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, Ali Riff took out Vandaway. Uh, you got there goes that girl. Uh, Martic there got past Sarah Stover. Uh huh. Lynette up in here. Your girl, Caroline Garcia. Okay. Casatina got a buy. Donna Vecchio. I mean, that's good names. Oh, Anna Samova. I, I told y'all I, I stopped even paying attention to her, right? <laughs> Stop uh, that. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, oh, oh, b- 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 build, go she ahead, tried. build that, build that hype train for a man. <laughs> she needs somebody to do it. But I, I, I'm gonna stick with her just for a little while. Longer. I, I think I think Tom Lovitz is gonna stick some forehands on her, and it's gonna be a day. She just might quietly though. Right. Yeah. You got yeah. uh, Metlanovic and uh, Elise Merton. So I mean. It's a, you know, it's a it's nice B squad tournament. Yeah, you it's know. a B squad tournament for sure. But a uh, lot of good Americans in there. Hopefully, yeah. yes. Uh, I, I want Sloan to be able to, you know, kind of yes. kind of step up and and do something. Because again, this is that nice time where, again, back in uh, you know, 2017, this is when her run her run began. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, she can do something similar here and get herself right going into the U.S. Open. Oh, this is what that that two fifty at yeah, the top C is 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 Cornet. So it oh. just goes it just goes down from there. It, when you when when you look <laughs> in, in the in the Puskova and the draws the bad Puskova. Oh, see and see that that says it all right there. Yeah, come so, on. So we you know we wish the best for everybody in this tournament. <laughs> and uh you know <laughs> exactly wish you well good luck y'all y'all fight fight your good fight we'll right see who won. exactly so let's talk a little bit about the olympics that we were talking sure. about on our um on our podcast not too yes. long ago yes yes um, so y'all what do y'all think i mean everybody was pumping up Djokovic for this golden slam and you know Mm-hmm. Thought he was gonna get up in there and do it. I actually, like I said, I I have my little little thing in the back of my head. Like I I wouldn't be mad if he did. Let's see if he gets it and and let's see what he gonna do then going into the open. But uh, like I said, I just feel like a few things popped up and that was it. Yeah, Zverev, Zverev, Zverev of all of them. Yeah, Zverev got up on him. Then uh, Karina <laughs> Booster got up on him. No, you don't like benches. You know I what? Like I, honestly, I'm not a big You're fan. You're not a big either. fan of benches. No, because wow, I've just like I've, I've just seen a couple of times where she had kind of a little bit of a nasty attitude, and I just, well, that's true. Yeah, that's I'm just true. like you know the whole trying to be sweet at times, and then you got that Angelique Kerber side to you. No, <laughs> I'm just uh-uh, no. This yeah, is... yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but shout out to Von Jusova. I mean, uh, Von Jusova, however you say her name. Uh, mm-hmm. She she had the tournament of 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 her life. You know, she really did. Yeah, she she got up in there and she fought, made it to the final, took out the number one or the number two, rather. Excuse me. Let me not mm-hmm. take that from Sarah Cerebes Tormo. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, took out homegirl in her own country. Um, right. And uh, was like, see ya, here's the dough. And and got her a silver walking out. So you can't be mad yeah. at that. Can't be mad at her at all. Okay, mm-hmm. we see a lot of benches hate in these comments. So I don't I, <laughs> I, I don't, know a lot. I don't feel so bad now because I was thinking like people will be like, why are you hating on somebody else? Well apparently our people out here don't care for her either. So that's they an awesome have, thing. All of them, all of them giving her just, they just like, she's the shade. The shade oh, of bru- it all. they calling her a brunette Karen. Brunette oh, Karen. shady. 
I love our people out here. Well, they sure ain't gonna lie. They sure ain't gonna lie to <laughs> you. They ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I know she's feeling good about herself. She got a she walked out there with a gold and a silver off, you know, from the Olympics. So she did her thing. She had Roger Federer sh- shouting her out, you know, and mm-hmm. you know, like she might she might she might get an endorsement in Switzerland now. Quietly. She might get a fat endorsement up there yeah. in Switzerland. She she's gonna come out there looking all she's she gonna be popping. Y'all be like, Woo, what then happened to her? See? Right. She got that little money money. So since our people are active out here in the chats, let me ask y'all, this is a question for y'all. <laughs> Based upon Djokovic just flaming out the way he did at the Olympics, do you think that that means he's going to come back and he's going to represent at the U.S. Open or if he's vulnerable uh, for people to take advantage of him at the U.S. Open? Very interested in your thoughts. Isaac, why don't you give us your while? they're they're pulling that together while wow, they're type they're pulling theirs in yeah like i said i do feel like they have seen a crack um i think that um kind of as we alluded to um on the on the recording or podcast recording we just mm-hmm. did that mm-hmm. um you know i think that there is yeah to lose three matches in a row like you said within a 24 to 48 hour period Huh. That that's that's got to put some major cracks in your confidence, um, especially when what you went there to do and you you yeah. you you went through hell just to try to get there to to do it to get you some hardware. Right. And for you to walk away with nothing, your your mental is definitely going to 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 be a little bit uh, a little a little a little a little soft. Right. Um, so. So for me, yeah, bro, I, I, I do think that there is definitely some um, some vulnerability there. But um, how about you? How are you thinking about this? Similarly. Uh, oh, and by the way, hey, Dick, I didn't I didn't even say hey to my buddy there. Uh, what's up, Nick? Uh, so but the you know, and, and it's, it looks like the people are really saying the same thing. They're saying that they feel like he's vulnerable. Right. Mm-hmm. But that that still does not negate the fact that these other players still have to bring their A game. They ain't going to be able right. just to like, you know, stroll out there and get the easy win on him. I mean, you have to win. And remember, I don't think that people always, I think they underestimate the difference between the best of three and the best of five. Because right. you know what? To be very honest with you, I still can't tell you if Zverev or Karina Booster win those matches in the Olympics if they're best of five. I can't tell you that. Right. Right. You know, so it's a fair question. Yep. Yep. You know, um, and I agree with Miles. I want, you know, I'm hope that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Medvedev right now is sitting in his crib like, I can't believe all these other busters from my team got some hardware and I'm the only one. Hatchinoff got a silver. Aslan got a silver, even though he was salty, salty, <laughs> salty with it. Rublev got a gold, you know. The only way he can recover from this is to win the U.S. Open. That's the only way. You got to win the U.S. Open. You got men and women sporting the Olympic hardware, and he ain't got none, y'all. You have got to be salty. If you are, like, the number one Russian player right now, male or female, you are the number one, and you ain't getting no hardware, and everybody got them some got them some 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 uh some hardware he's he, yeah he's got he's definitely going to be on a mad dash to get him something to uh to be able to sit him on that level if not above right. what they've done right and and since we brought up aslan did everybody else see how salty karatsev was about losing that mixed doubles match my goodness he look look Hey, if y'all ain't seen Rublev in a couple of days, look. y'all better go look for him. You better go look for him. Because yes. Karaz- <laughs> <laughs> looked like he did not want that silver medal medal at all. Dude, not at all. Yeah, he was straight up salty, bro. He was straight salty. And he, like I said, the photos say it all. You, you right. just scan through the photos of all the winners. Miles put the photos of every all the winners. And yeah. literally, if you swipe through, everybody got them a little smile, and they like this. They show Vesnina and Karasev. He's like, 
Even Miss Nina was smiling, right? He, even she was smiling. He she was, was smiling. like, he was, a, he, he was just like, hmm, you think I'm happy? Hmm. <laughs> Look at this right there. I, I did not come here for no silver. <laughs> no, no. Well, and probably because he knows Rublev has never played Miss Devils before in his life. Exactly. He's like, how I lose to him? How? Right. How? And I got Vez Nina right here. She old school, got Grand Slam championships. How? How we lose to Pablo Echenga and Rublev? Yeah. yeah no, <laughs> no. Uh that was that was hilarious. What else were highlights uh for you uh other than Djokovic losing three matches and <laughs> and oh we haven't we haven't mentioned how we felt like it was shady of Djokovic to not play in the bronze match with his partner in mixed doubles when he pulled out. Yeah, talking about my shoulder tender. I had my it's shoulder so, hurt. And he played the Australian Open with torn ab muscles, stretching exactly. and digging balls out of the corner. Yeah, for like, wasn't it three what? matches? Because he yeah. played Taylor, and then after that, uh, he played, uh, was it Zverev? And then he played the final? I know yeah. he got at least three, three, yeah. three matches in, three right. five setters. Ripped guts. Ripped could guts. Not, and, and made it through, held up the title. Strong, you got look. Strong. You got to have good at muscles to hold the the trophy above your head. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Come but on now. He, but he could not go out there on that mixed doubles court for his partner, who will probably never have an opportunity. He never have, he, to play he, for him. Up. He could have did a Madison Bringle. He could have did the little frying pan and just go and fry pan it in. Because it's doubles. You ain't got to have the best to serve to play doubles. You know, just get it in there and, you know, and go. Get to the net. He knew, first of all, he thought, the reason he played the mixed doubles match before is he thought that they were going to get up on Vesnina and, and, Karasev. Uh, uh, and Karasev. And Karasev was like, you look like target practice. To me. <laughs> Not today, so son. we're going to test them volleys, <laughs> and we're going to see what they're looking like. Oh, I didn't think they was tight. So he no. lost that. But he knew... He knew Ash Barty and Pierce was going to get up Ooh. on them. He was not trying to take four L's in a row. In a row. And be fair, too, because I honestly feel like they might have got pissed. Because <laughs> I think Barty and Pierce has been like, ooh, y'all look hungry. I'm about to put it on you. And Bryce, uh, come on, man. Come I'm on. telling you. Bruh. I'm telling you. Yeah, he wasn't ready. So he, he did the right thing. He got on out of there. He was just like, but I, mm. I feel sorry for his partner. I did. I really. Yeah, Soyanovich is. It, that's just like that was that was that was really shady on his mm -hmm. part, in my opinion. So right. Uh, and can just, we keep? The, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's all good. Go ahead, bro. I was just gonna keep the shadiness going, <laughs> and, and 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 bring up you know what we talked about. Why don't you describe it this time? I described it last time. You you describe it this time. Oh wait a minute. Uh, describe. Uh, uh, our friends of the show. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, <laughs> we got some tea, y'all. We got some tea. <laughs> and we need to understand what's going on. Because, right. I'm sorry. They're, one plus one is just not equal in two in this particular instance. It's equal nope. in like 54. Um, so, y'all know what's up with the Olympics. You got the Olympic squad. You got certain people that actually get named to the squad. And one of the one of the conditions was <laughs> if you are in the top ten in doubles, you automatically earn your spot on the Olympic squad. Our friend, friend to, friend of the show, uh, Nicole Melkar, was the ninth ranked doubles player in the world, so she right. was named to the American Olympic team. Mm -hmm. named. And she, named, named, earned, earned, earned her spot, earned, qualified even. Qualified. There you go. Played doubles. Unfortunately, women's doubles didn't quite work out. Didn't work. Um, but then the the mixed draw, mixed doubles came up. And it's like, hey, we got another opportunity. Right. Well, uh -huh. unfortunately, this year, they condensed the draw. Uh -huh. So, like, last Olympics, they, we had two. Mm -hmm. Two mixed doubles teams because we they had Rajiv Ram and B exactly, and they met in the finals. It was Rajiv oh, and Venus oh, against Rajiv, uh -huh. Rajiv exactly, and Venus and and uh, Jack, Jack Sock, Sox. 
and uh, Beth Pneumatic Sands. So, but this time, you could only send one team. So now Rajiv Ram is the top doubles male for the United States at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. All right, he gets selected. For some reason, he ended up getting paired with Bethany Maddox Sands to play mixed doubles. Now, the last time I checked, Bryce, Mm -hmm. Bethany Maddox Sands Mm -hmm. was named to the Olympic team, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but she did not earn her spot on the team. Didn't qualify. qualify. But but last I checked, I think who did qualify and who's ranked number nine in the world Mm -hmm. was Nicole Melikar. Mm -hmm. So Melikar, you would think, would have gotten that mixed double spot and paired with Rajiv Ram. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, you know, one plus one equals two. One plus one is two. Right. Mm -hmm. Somehow or another, Uh Rajiv Ram Mm -hmm. and Bethany Magic Sands got paired Mm -hmm. to play mixed doubles. Yep. Hmm. Do you think they asked Nicole? Don't sound like it. <laughs> it don't sound like it, right? <laughs> no. I mean, it don't. So, I mean, and like, like I was saying, you know, trying to justify it in my mind, I'm thinking like, well, maybe because Bethany Maddox fans won the gold last year, she's kind of like defending champion, so we give her that opportunity to defend. <laughs> but when uh, that it don't Olympics don't work that way, right? Like. like if you win the gold last time, you still have to qualify to make the team this time, right? Correct. And you know what? Kareem has brought up just a wonderful, wonderful question. Uh-huh. Why did Russia get two mixed doubles? And we did. Because they not as sorry. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I, I, that just, you know, like, if you ask that's me a question, response. that's my gut reaction, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. So I, that's a great question, though. I didn't think about that one. So we're going to have to figure that out. Because, by the way, let's not forget, Russia was suspended. Exactly. So everybody put on their fake mustaches and their disguises, and they came in as the ROC. <laughs> we the ROC and the ROC. Right. <laughs> ROC and the hizzy. What? Listen, yeah, I don't understand what happened there, bro. But I know that we need to have uh, our friend Nicole Melikar on the show so that we can ask said questions and Ooh. find out what happened. Because um, I don't know about you, but that makes me a little salty. It makes me a little suspect. Because I doubt, I doubt that Nicole was asked to play, mm-hmm. and she was like. Nah, let Bethany play. Let Bethany do it. She's no. defending. Go ahead. Yeah. Go I worked all it. I worked all year to qualify and get this ranking and stuff, but nah. Nah. I'm here. I'm good. Yeah. We go. Yeah. I can't what? even we can't we can't even sightsee because of the corona, but I'll stay here in my but dorm I, and just I'll stay in my dorm and just chill and mm-hmm. watch y'all y'all play and go yeah. out. Yeah, the, good luck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. For, sorry folks, we're gonna have to figure that one out. Because <laughs> we're curious, right. we are very curious. We're very curious. <laughs> so, what what else is out there? Is there something else we haven't covered, or people? You know, uh, I'm trying to look through your comments to see if there. Yeah, what they put up in here. What we done um, got? They bored oh, with wow. folks. Oh, people tired of Bethany Maddox. They tired oh. of Bethany socks. Apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I so did not know good. that. Someone didn't like this Nina's shriek, I think I, I saw. Uh-huh. The Ia! Hi-ya! Yeah. Hi-ya! I think that was disturbing, uh, Aslan. <laughs> I think that's why he was partly salty, too. Yeah. Um, and, and we talked about, and like I said, Novak, like I said, okay, and that was the thing we did talk about. So, again, never, want, never being one to give Djokovic any credit, I definitely feel like uh, he his his comments in regards to the mental were definitely taken taken a little bit sideways. Right, and, yeah. I, and I think he got drugged for that. Now he deserves to be drugged for a whole lot, y'all. Whole lot. 
But I think on that one, I don't think he quite deserved to get drugged on that because I don't think he meant anything negative to Naomi or Simone. Or, um, uh, I was about to say Simone. Um, no, that is right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so oh, and I got one. Uh, you're about this. No, okay. And Miles, I, I just read your thing about Rabakina. You know, for me, yeah, she did. She, you know, she, she, she lost the semi. She, she didn't get a medal. But at the same time, and we were talking about this on the on the recording, I feel like she's finally getting her rhythm back to where. And both Bryce and I feel this way that she's getting her rhythm back to where she was prior to the pandemic. So I don't know that I necessarily see the losses as being that bad because uh -huh. to me, she's early enough in her career that I still feel like she's got stepping stones and uh -huh. she's rebuilding herself to get back to where, where she needs to be. So quietly, I, I, and besides, she's young. She, I ain't stressed about her. She'll be back in 2024. She'll probably be trying to get her medal then. So uh -huh. it'd be different if she were like, you know, best Nina towards the end of her career or something. But no, right. she, she good. She, she's still getting herself right. And yes, we are extremely happy for Mrs. Monfi. Yes, yes. Extremely happy. Love us and gems. Right, right, and, right. Uh, you can't have a better, uh, you know, wedding gift to yourself than to get you some hardware at the Olympics. So good right. on Spitalina. I was very, very pleased with her. And, you know, and she did, Spitalina still does Spitalina things. She right. thought she would have won go in, and put herself in the gold medal match. Right. Mm -hmm. And she got drugged. I mean, she just got drugged. Von Silva was like, sis, <laughs> and by playing with you, you better get up on this. I'm going to get this lefty swing up on you. Right, right. And uh, I just think that, yeah, she, you know, again, we thought she would win that, but she didn't. But again, she got in the bronze match, and she was like, listen, I'm not going to choke again. I'm going to make it happen. So, right. Yeah. Kudos to, to Jim's life. Right. Oh, and shout out to our two doubles teams that won that we – we we predicted from day one. I know they were the top seeds, but Mektich and Pavage, they do what world champion teams do. Uh, <laughs> Krychikova and uh, Siniakova, I mean, they do what champion teams do. Uh, right. They represent it. But we figured they were going to get the goal. They are the top two teams on the men's and the women's side. Uh, I think we talked about this before. So many of the doubles teams – these days are cross country teams, you know, they, you know, like Russian and somebody from France or, you know, whatever. And these are two teams that, you know, are both of them from, a, from the same country. Right. They've been playing together all year. They've been playing well. So they had, they really had an advantage over some of these other teams and, and the Olympics, because we had people playing with each other who weren't used to playing with each other. Correct. Exactly. And, exactly. Uh, it was good. So, yeah. um, so yeah. props to them and props, like we said, to Russia for having two teams in the mixed doubles final, you know, um, gotta love just, that man. Yeah. Right, for, right. For, for them. I mean, for them, like I said, they, 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 whoo. Yeah. They, they were not playing. They were like, we're going to get us some walking out this place. And I, I don't think I, I, I hardly ever vote against the United States in the Olympics, but in that mixed doubles, bronze match the australians versus uh austin krychek and tennis sangren i was like i might i i i i, I, I was where that vegemite where you know, that? I, I was all about being australian <laughs> for that one hour and 25 minutes i was australian yes. and i was like come get this <laughs> exactly and yes, I see, uh, I think Corey put out there in the next Olympics, yes, I do feel like we will, we will definitely be in a much stronger position. I think Coco will be, will be, well, hell, she qualified for this one. It's just that she got the Rona and couldn't go. Right. Um, but I believe she will definitely be right for the next one. Um, again, Corder's doing really strong things, so you would expect he would be there. And hopefully one or two of these other ones will finally figure out what they're doing and get, get right. Hopefully right. it will be Tiafo. That's where my hope lies, but we'll see. And don't you feel like if, if Coco Golf had played here, she would have represented? Mm hmm Absolutely. I, shit, shit. Quietly, I think Coco would have had her medal. Yeah. I don't know what color it would have been, but she'd have had her medal. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. Don't, don't, don't play. That little right. feisty. She feisty, y'all. 
right. what you need these days. And yeah, and, and Miles is reminding us that this was the first time since the Olympics have come back as an official sport uh, in 1988 that we have not meddled at all. Right. And right. it just, um, you know, I, I think it just speaks to the sorriness <laughs> of our U.S. teams, you know? Yeah. And, and, you know, we didn't even have every... You know, we of course we didn't have everybody. We, we didn't, didn't have, send our best team. As far right. as on the women's side, I I will I will yeah I give them a break because they didn't have the the women that we right. need. We had the right. B squad on the women's squad, but unfortunately right. the men. That's well, pretty much what you're gonna get. Well, yeah, and but we didn't have Quarter, who I think yes. would have maybe done well. He he qualified but chose not to play. Although That's his true. Sister, although his sisters were over there. Yeah. Um, you never know with Isner if Isner had played how far he would have gotten. You know? That's a good point. Because hell, um, he just won Atlanta for the like nineteenth time. Exactly. So I mean yeah, we didn't send our well, but probably a lot of countries can say we didn't send our top people either. So uh <laughs> you know fair point. Yeah, fair point. You know, um but and <laughs> once again, that's why I thought Djokovic was going to run away with this. Right. Right. And like you said, bro, he was on par to do so up until he got in that second set with Sasha. And then all the wheels, the wheels just came off. They flew off. They didn't just come off. They flew off. I mean, Sasha won with 10 of the next 11 games. No, 12 of the next 13. Oh, 13 of the, because remember he was up three, two, right? And right, he ended so up losing. So, the rest of those games and 6 1. Right. So that was four plus six. Oh, yeah. Plus you're ten. right. That's a lot. Right, right, That's yeah. right. So oh, I know. Next... Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't do math after five. <laughs> right. So we... <laughs> right. That's what we do. With me looking at my math degree on the wall. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoo, my brother is pulling numbers just out the air. Like, <laughs> I was counting the sixes, bro. I was counting the two sixes. I forgot it was three, two. See? <laughs> <laughs> this is brothers on tennis, not brothers on math. So... No, it's not. So... <laughs> and quietly, I done had me a little drinky drink. Listen. <laughs> Got to get right for this cause, man. Oh, my good. Well, well, Clinton, that's funny. Clinton saying, I think Novik... Novak tried to make the match interesting and it finally backfired. Because we have talked about that. When Novak gets out there and he acts like he's uh, uh, you know, and, and it's so fake. You know he's not, yeah. you know. But and, that's, but see Bryce, that's why I don't think that actually was the case. Because And the reason I say that is because uh, you're not going to get drugged 6-1 in the third set. If you if you acting like that in the second, you're at least oh, going to say No, no, no. Self. I think he was out of his control by that point. Completely. I think he was out of his control by that point. I mm -hmm. think when he when he didn't win that second set, he was trying to scrape back and win that second. And Zero was like, I'm, Sa I'm, I'm swinging now. S Sasha taking he was he was tasting blood. He was just like, you know what, you in the sharks den now, right. brother. I right. got that blood taste on my mouth. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, on. I'm snapping. I'm on. Yeah, boy. Woo. And we seen it before. Medvedev mm -hmm. did it to him in Cincinnati years mm -hmm. ago. That's yep. how Medvedev went on that team. He was just like, you know what? I am tired of this shit. I'm about to bomb me some serves. I'm about to hit everything strong. It's and we just going to see what happens. It's what Karashev did to him in his own backyard. In his own backyard, bro. That, and like, and you said it. That's what you have to do to beat Djokovic. But mm. not, not too many people can. Right. There are not too many people that have the firepower to be able to do that. Honestly, if you really think about it, that's right. how he and Roger typically played anyway, though. Because Roger's, you know, he's he's type A, Mr. Aggressive, trying to go for his shots all the time. You have uh -huh. to get no, no back off the court. You just have to beat him. Right. Right. So I, I just feel like, yes, Vera was just like, man, bump this. I, I, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out swinging. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Interesting, man. Very, very interesting. Well, we have to get ready and get off of here because, you know, I don't oh, like yeah, it when, right. when Instagram cut us off because I feel like I'm, I'm being disrespected or something, you know. <laughs> but uh, still more Olympics on. I got to go, go see some more stuff. Even right. though tennis is not on, I still am into some of the other stuff. So, right, yeah. Yeah. right. Go some, we do support the USA. <laughs> Wait a minute. You got your... 
Oh, oh, that, that was that's a Karima, you know, because she, you know, she she be on that that Novax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we love her anyway. Um, so, <laughs> we so, well, all right, y'all. It's been fun chatting with you. We'll be back next week, uh, and we'll be trying to uh, talk to you about how these tournaments went in yes. uh, San Jose and in, um, where's the other one at? Washington, D.C. Washington, and don't DC. forget, if you are in dc if you're in the dc area check out where the city taste of tennis food truck is and then if you're in new york it's going to be there for three weeks every tuesday yes. wednesday and thursday at a different spot go check them out uh our producer is going to be there at several of the spots you can holler at him i think isaac is going to make it out there for uh, one of the spots and um and we'll both be at the u.s open so we're yes. hoping to meet uh some of you guys there and, and to have some fun so, be there early y'all be there yeah. early yeah we ain't gonna be there real long we're we gonna be gonna there for be a good time not for a long time <laughs> 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 preach brother preach <laughs> all right y'all everyone have a good night we'll see you later bye-bye